Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, we're unraveling a topic that might seem puzzling but has a major impact on engine performance. Engine knock. Whether you're dealing with a diesel or a gasoline engine, knocking can be a concern, yet the reasons behind it and its impact can differ quite a bit. In this video, we'll dive into what engine knock really is, why it occurs, and how it varies between these two types of engines. Let's jump in. First, what exactly is engine knock? Engine knock, sometimes called detonation or pinging, happens when combustion inside an engine cylinder doesn't go as planned. Instead of a controlled, smooth burn, the air-fuel mixture ignites too early or unevenly, creating a knocking sound. This sound is essentially caused by shock waves bouncing around inside the cylinder. So why is engine knock such a big deal? When engine knock occurs, it generates a shock wave within the combustion chamber. This shock wave results from the spontaneous, uncontrolled ignition of the remaining air-fuel mixture after the initial spark or primary combustion event. Instead of a smooth flame front progressing through the mixture, the abrupt pressure rise causes high-frequency pressure waves to reverberate against the cylinder walls. These shock waves create a characteristic pinging or knocking sound and can lead to damaging vibrations and increased thermal stress, potentially harming engine components over time. Now, let's talk about gasoline engines. In a gasoline engine, the air fuel mixture is compressed and ignited by a spark plug. Ideally, the fuel should ignite right when the piston is near the top of the compression stroke, allowing for controlled and efficient combustion. However, if the mixture ignites prematurely, the result is knock. This can happen if the air-fuel mixture is compressed to the point where it spontaneously ignites, known as pre-ignition or auto-ignition. It's common in high-compression or turbocharged gasoline engines because they operate at higher pressures, making them more prone to knock. Knock in gasoline engines is mostly managed by adjusting the ignition timing, the fuel's octane rating, and sometimes with knock sensors that can adjust timing automatically. Now let's switch gears to diesel engines. Unlike gasoline engines, diesel engines don't use spark plugs to ignite the fuel. Instead, they rely on compression ignition. Air is compressed to extremely high pressures, and fuel is injected directly into the cylinder, causing it to ignite due to the high temperature of the compressed air. In diesel engines, knock or diesel knock sounds different and has a different cause. Diesel knock is usually a result of a delay in the fuel's ignition after it's injected. When the fuel finally does ignite, it does so all at once, creating a loud knocking noise. This can happen if the fuel quality is poor, the injection timing is off, or if there's too much fuel injected too quickly. One major difference is that diesel engines are actually designed to handle some degree of knock because of their high compression ratios, whereas gasoline engines are not. Let's summarize the main differences between diesel and gasoline knock. 1. Ignition process. Gasoline engines knock due to premature ignition, whereas diesel engines knock due to a delay in ignition after fuel injection. 2. Fuel quality. In gasoline engines, knock resistance depends heavily on fuel octane ratings, while diesel engines rely more on cetane ratings, which affect how quickly fuel ignites under pressure. 3. Engine design. Gasoline engines are designed to avoid knock as much as possible, whereas diesel engines are built to withstand some degree of knocking. 4. Control methods. Gasoline engines manage knock with timing adjustments, higher octane fuel, and sometimes knock sensors. Diesel engines control it with injection timing, improved fuel atomization, and cetane boosting additives. So, how do you avoid engine knock? Here are a few tips. For gasoline engines, use the recommended octane fuel, maintain the ignition system, and avoid heavy loads at low RPMs. For diesel engines, ensure the fuel injectors are working correctly, use quality diesel fuel with the right cetane rating, and keep the injection timing calibrated. Knocking is more than just an annoying sound. It's a signal that your engine isn't running as efficiently or safely as it could be. Keeping up with maintenance and using the correct fuel type are essential steps to preventing knock. Alright, that wraps up our look at engine knock and gasoline versus diesel engines. As you can see, Knock may seem like a similar issue in both engines, but the causes and solutions are quite different. I hope this video helped you understand why knock happens and how to minimize it in your own vehicle. Let me know in the comments if you've experienced knock in your engine 
and what topics you'd like me to cover next. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.